Thanksgiving is over and I know you are stuffed from the turkey and dressing, but I want some regular food, so let's get back to these recipes. Today I'm preparing lasagna roll-ups. This is an easy recipe and there are not a lot of ingredients required. So let's get started making this lasagna. Take a quick glance to see the ingredients that I'm using in my recipe. I have ground turkey, one egg, I have my spices, cheese, my pasta, marinara sauce, onions, and garlic. In a bowl, add in your shredded mozzarella cheese. Next, pour in your grated Parmesan cheese. Then add in a few spoonfuls of ricotta cheese. Now crack an egg in a bowl and combine your ingredients. Then add in a little bit of parsley. It can either be dried parsley or even fresh parsley. Then mix in these ingredients until everything is well combined. In a large pot of boiling water, add in some salt, then place in your pasta. Let your pasta cook for about eight minutes. To prevent your pasta from sticking together, you wanna space them out throughout your pot. In a large pot over a medium heat, add in your vegetable oil. Let your oil get hot, then place in your onions and garlic. Let them cook for about five minutes. Continue to stir frequently to prevent your garlic from burning before placing in your ground turkey. Now that your vegetables are soft, add in your ground turkey. You wanna break your ground turkey up into small pieces and let them cook for about 15 to 20 minutes until your ground turkey is well done. Now that our ground turkey is cooked, I'm gonna add in our seasonings. Let's add onion powder, chicken bouillon, oregano, black pepper, and basil. Mix all these ingredients into your ground turkey until everything is well combined. Now we're gonna to continue to let this ground turkey cook until most of the juice is cooked out of the meat. The juice is pretty much cooked out of the meat and now we're going to pour in our marinara sauce. If you can't use tomato products, then go ahead and substitute the tomato sauce for Alfredo. Once you finish pouring in your tomato sauce, give everything a quick mix, then place on your top, turn your stove down to a medium low heat and continue to let it cook for about 15 minutes. On a large plate, place on your lasagna, then add a few spoonfuls of your cheese mixture on top of your lasagna and spread it out evenly. Take some time and preheat your oven on 350 degrees. Now let's add in our meat sauce, but not too much because this part gets a little messy. Then roll up your pasta, but not too tight because the sauce will tend to spill out. In your baking dish, add a little bit of your meat sauce to the bottom of your baking pan. 
Spread the meat sauce out, then place in your lasagna. This meat sauce will prevent your lasagna from sticking to the bottom of your baking dish. Now place in your lasagna rolls until your baking dish is full. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Now that the dish is full, add the remaining meat sauce to the top of your lasagna. Then place on some more mozzarella shredded cheese. Cover your lasagna with some foil, but not tight because you don't want your cheese sticking to your foil. And you're gonna leave your lasagna in the oven for about 20 minutes or until your cheese melts. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Wait, 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 let's be more realistic. Just share my channel with at least one or two people. Bye.